top 10 richest country stars, how they spend their millions. It's no secret that musicians have the ability to become very rich, depending on their popularity and the demand for their music. Among other aspects of the business, they can grow quite a net worth. It doesn't matter what genre of music. If they've got it, they can do very well for themselves financially. Country music has become more and more popular over the years. There are a lot of big names in the industry that most people know or recognize, whether they are big country fans or not. You may even be able to make some educated guesses at who has done really well as a country singer when it comes to who are some of the wealthiest country singers of all time. But if you have ever wondered who has topped the payroll in country music over the years, we'll take a look at some of the most successful country stars. Don't forget to watch till the end. Ring that notification bell as well so you'll never miss another video. Let's get started. Number 10. Brad Paisley – $92 million Brad Paisley started playing the guitar when he was 8 years old and hasn't looked back since. Famous ballads like Whiskey Lullaby and tongue-in-cheek songs like I'm Gonna Miss Her have entertained thousands of fans at his energetic concerts and helped him sell over 11 million albums during his career. Most of his songs are recorded with his live band, The Drama Kings. Fun fact, Paisley is married to famous Father of the Bride actress Kimberly Williams. Paisley first saw her watching the film in 1991 and developed a crush. His wife later admitted he had stalked her and finally won her over. Number 9. Reba McIntyre – $95 million Born on March 28, 1955 in Oklahoma, she comes from a lineage of champion steer ropers, and her mother was an aspiring singer who worked as a school teacher. She taught McIntyre and her siblings how to sing and harmonize at a young age, and McIntyre taught herself how to play the guitar. She and some of her siblings sing at rodeos under the name Singing McIntyres. They sing a song, The Ballad of John, which was released under the indie label Boss. It sold a 1,000 copies. McIntyre went on to college and continued singing at rodeos during 1974, when she discovered by Red Stegall, who helped her launch her career in Nashville, Tennessee. Her first solo album was released in 1977 under Mercury Records, and five additional studio albums followed until 1983. McIntyre has won many awards in her lengthy career and had many hit songs and albums. She also branched out into film and television and had her hit series titled Reba from 2001 to 2007. She is considered one of the best country singers ever, with having sold over 85 million records globally and has a net worth of $65 million. Number 8. Alan Jackson – $97 million Alan Jackson was born in 1958. He is a singer and songwriter that is most known for his old traditional honky-tonk, mainstream country songs, and sounds. He has written many of the songs he sings and has a long list of recordings. He recorded three greatest hit albums, along with two gospel, multiple compilations, 16 studio albums, and two Christmas. Along with all the recordings, he sold over 80 million records through the course of his career and has 66 of his titles making it on the Billboard Hot Country Singles and Tracks chart. 38 of them reached the top 5. He will be inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame this year. He has a net worth of $75 million. Blake Shelton – Net Worth $60 Million who could think that a guy from a small town in Oklahoma will become a super coach for The Voice Show and get a title as sex symbol in 2017? Shelton's net worth is around $60 million and comes from his singing, songwriting, and coaching. His participation on The Voice has grown his net worth a lot. He earns more than $13 million per season guiding his team. Blake owns a 1,200-acre 10-point ranch in Tishomingo. But after having his girlfriend Gwen Stefani and her kids come around, he decided to purchase a $2.3 million estate as a wedding gift for Gwen in the same area. It's a luxury Hawaii-style lake house with a great swimming pool that even has its own bar. Blake's plans do not end there. He's going to open a restaurant and a brewery in Toshimingo as well. Toshimingo may very well turn to Sheltonville if Blake purchases one more house in that area. Number 6. Kenny Chesney – $190 million from Kenny's 20 studio albums, he's produced 40 top 10 singles on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart, received countless awards as the Entertainer of the Year and Top Male Vocalist. In 2015, Forbes estimated Kenny's income at $42 million per year. He didn't receive his first instrument until he graduated from high school. He named the guitar The Terminator, learned to play guitar, and promptly moved to Nashville. He's one of the most successful crossover country singers. His album sales have reached over 30 million sales worldwide. Kenny and Tim McGraw were arrested when Kenny tried to ride a police horse at random. 
he married actress Renee Zellweger in 2005, and the marriage was annulled within four months. He let many victims of Hurricane Irma stay in his U.S. Virgin Islands mansion during the crisis. In 1982, he won the Best Male Yodler competition in Switzerland. Number 5. Kenny Rogers – $250 million What people don't know about Kenny is that he topped the charts on more than just the country genre, which is how he became one of the best sellers of all time. He's also a passionate photographer, releasing two photo books. He founded a chicken restaurant chain called Kenny Rogers Roasters with the former CEO of KFC. For some reason, comedians find this funny, which has only brought on his income with free marketing. He's bridged into television and even the race car business. Number 4. George Strait – $327 million George Strait, the king of country, has been landing country hits since the 1970s. With 38 gold albums and 13 multi-platinum records, Strait is one of the best-selling musicians ever. He was named Entertainer of the Year, which may have something to do with holding the record for the largest indoor concert in North America and selling out tours with 360-degree stages. In three years, Strait made just shy of an impressive $100 million from touring. Fun fact, before making it big with country music, Strait ran the rodeo circuit as a team roping competitor. Number 3. Toby Keith – $365 million Toby has been in the game since 1993 and has released 19 studio albums and two Christmas albums since, totaling over 40 million album sales and 61 singles on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart. He's broken into TV like the others, but only with performances and not acting. He's really climbed the charts with his business ventures, including his restaurant franchise I Love This Bar & Grill across the nation and his clothing line TK Steelman. He's also introduced a new liquor called Wild Shot Silver Mezcal. Number 2. Shania Twain – $400 million Shania absolutely owned the mid to late 90s in terms of country and country pop music. She's a five-time Grammy winner, Canadian Music Hall of Fame inductee, and has 27 BMI Songwriter Awards. She's the sixth best female artist in the USA. She broke into TV as a judge on American Idol and ended up on all the music-related reality TV shows. She's had endorsements with Febreze, Cody for a perfume called Shania, and even carried the Olympic torch in 2010. Even her autobiography earns her income. She gives back to needy school children with her program Shania Kids Can. She's also made tons of money from her residency at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace. Number 1. Dolly Parton – $500 million Who doesn't know the name Dolly Parton? One of the biggest stars ever. This lady has been around the music business and Hollywood as an actor. She has a net worth of $450 million. And it's not hard to see why, with everything she's accomplished. Not only in music, but acting, theme parks, and restaurants. She is a savvy entrepreneur and businesswoman. She also has written books, acts as a philanthropist, and is a record producer. She started her music career in 1967, and her sales began to really peak in the 1970s, and followed her into the 1980s. She has won numerous awards, including 9 Grammys, 10 Country Music Association Awards, and had 2 Academy nominations. She's also one of only 7 female artists to have won the Country Music Association's Country Music Entertainer of the Year Award. Her acting career has landed her roles on both television and in feature films. She has had a remarkable career and has an amazing net worth to prove it by being the second richest country music singer of all time. Bottom line. So this is all about the top 10 richest country stars. What are your thoughts about it? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the bell icon button so that you'll get a notification whenever we post a new video.